Some steam come out that. Ooh. Not good. Holy s***. Welcome in everybody to another edition of Smelly's Kitchen. This is actually my wife's kitchen, so I'm gonna introduce to you Andy Bell. She's gonna go over how to make one of my favorite recipes, some wangs. Get in here, Andy Bell. <laughs> here she comes. What's the secret to uh, making some amazing wings? Well, um, I think the secret is to start with a variety of chicken. So we have some traditional wings and then we also have boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which I prefer over the wings because they are easier to eat. They're a little healthier in my opinion. Okay, I'll tell you what to do. So first thing we're gonna do is spray this. this we're making them in an air fryer, so this is an air fryer basket. So you don't want the chicken to stick to it, so you're gonna take that and just spray the bottom. Give this a little. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. And then you're gonna take the chicken and lay it in one layer on the air fryer basket. Put the chicken so, in here. So, yep, just in there. Yep. Oh, oh, well, you can use a fork too if you want. Am I that repulsive? <laughs> I, ch the raw chicken is sometimes gross to a lot of people. Nah. And just make sure you have enough room for everything. So you can you can make it close to each other, but just not on top of each hey, other. Hey, anybody else feeling me right now? <laughs> Your wife like tell you to do something and then you do it wrong. Mm, well. And you're just like, why in the, didn't you just yeah. do this in the first place? All right, well you can move it's like, on. This is like finding a parking spot. Why don't you try over there? You should go back the other way. All right, all That's right. perfect. Oh, okay, here we go. Just make some room. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it doesn't have, as long as it's one layer. She doesn't understand, I'm very challenged. All right, so that's all we do. Then we take this and we put it in the air fryer, which we have over here. Oh. And our, we have an air fryer that, that was over there. doubles it as a toaster oven oven, so it's like a nine in one. Um, so you're, it's at 350 and you have it on air fry and then we're just gonna do it for about 20 minutes. And it cooks a lot faster than traditional wings. So it's way faster than the oven. And, and so you so, cook it that way and you don't put yeah. anything on it. I don't because wings tend to be kind of salty and especially mm. the sauce that we're gonna do at the end. So I just cook it up like that and then we're gonna toss it in the sauce after. And what about the panko? So that is part of the sauce. So the sauce is really simple, it's just so we have a couple options. We do, I like red hot and butter. You just melt it and we throw a little bit of the panko, um, well it's not, it's pork rinds, but you can, this is a carb free option. Mm -hmm. um, I put that in a sauce and then that thickens it up a little bit while we're tossing them. And then we throw in a little bit at the very end. You can also use this, it's kind of already made and so you don't need to add butter and we can kind of drizzle this on top too. Mm. Just a little added thing. This sauce is really good as well. Delicious. Yep. Should we start to make up the sauce now? Yeah, we can do that. So we're gonna heat the pan up and then we're gonna melt some butter. How much butter do we need? Um, you can do a couple of spoonfuls. Maybe like a big old scoop like that? Or that, yeah. <laughs> one, big, one big giant scoop -a -roo <laughs> That'll of work some as well. butter. This is so good, I just wanna eat that, looks like that. There we go. Okay, so then that melts and then we just throw in the red hot. Throw in a little bit of this. Um, yeah, and then we'll get a spoon. And, and then you throw in the pork panko at the end? I do a little in the middle and then also at the end, just depending on how much butter you use because you want to kind of have it a little thicker. Um, that's, yeah, yeah, that's probably good. It, the amount of sauce you make will depend on how many wings you're making. Mm -hmm. So we don't have like a ton, so. I sometimes, I, I really like salt a lot, but sometimes when we make this, I sometimes will get uh, unsalted butter. Just right. Just because yeah. all the stuff that you throw in there is gonna add salt to it anyway. Right. And don't get frozen wings, because frozen wings a lot of times are sitting in like a bunch a of salt. A lot of sodium, right? yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting fresh chicken from, um, from the, chicken section <laughs> and um, and I, like I said I like the mix of stuff but you could just do the party wings or just do the thighs um, that'll work too so I have a, you know I have a weird diet and uh, well I have what people would consider to be a weird diet um, how do you eat because like people ask questions a lot about how the rest of the family eats and like you don't eat the same exact way I do right 
Right, well, you always eat dinner before we eat dinner, so we don't eat that meal. Double dinner. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? I make a lot of um, super simple where it's just like a protein and then a side. So I'll do a chicken or a steak. The kids aren't really into fish, so I usually make chicken. I'm also a big fan of one pot meals, so I'll just like ground some meat, um, whether it's beef or turkey, um, and then throw in just some um, sauce or some, like we do the, the hamburger where you just put ketchup and pickles and make that, you or I do the rouse. And yeah, we could do, um, put in the, the raw sauce, or the other night I made a, um, a chicken enchilada, or a beef enchilada skillet, where I just did ground beef, some enchilada sauce, and some corn, and a little bit of black beans, and um, that was it. And I think we topped it with green onions, we had that last night, and that was really good, and that was just one pot. And you don't really eat a lot of carbs. I try to do low carb, but I definitely go off diet when I have wine, because it has carbs, so I try to, <laughs> that's my carb usually. Um, but John, yeah. The John Cena method. <laughs> So I try to combat that with um, adding more exercise into my routine so I can have more wine. So, all so right, not so drinking now, wine, you're exercising. Right, exactly. All right, so you wanna make sure this is on low because it'll, it'll um, cook up very fast. Yeah, you don't want it to burn. Right, so once it's all melted, it's like, <laughs> that's the butter. That's the precipice yeah. right there. That's so you wanna get for. it all, and then we add a little bit of the pork rinds now just to give it a little thickness. A little so when filler. we coat it, it'll stick to the chicken better. That's kind of the secret. I think a lot of people, when they make the sauce, um, it just, you know, it's not, if you don't use a thicker thing, then you can do the panko. And that's it. So we'll just wait for the wings to be ready, then we'll toss them in there. And then we'll add a little bit more of the panko, and then we'll What do you enjoy. do for working out? I swim. So I swim every day. Every morning, early, early, right? Yep. When you're sleeping, I'm swimming. <laughs> a lot of times um, I am sleeping. Yeah. So Catching I, me slipping. Yeah. I have a group of uh, people I swim with. We swim every day. We try to get at least about two miles in every morning. And then I try to do uh, some weightlifting on the weekend. I go to the gym or, you know, do a little running just because swimming is... I love swimming, but I definitely, as I get older, I know I need some more resistance training, and swimming is not a lot of resistance training, mm. so I try to try to go to the gym and just stay out of everyone's way. Yeah. We have an 18-year-old boy and a 14-year-old daughter. Yep. Um, have we, do you remember like having conversations with them about nutrition, or has it been more natural, or what um, you, I remember when it? the kids were little, um, we, you know, it's, it's difficult. We have a daughter, so you try to be really careful about talking about weight and stuff that makes you fat and things like that. So I think you and I tried as parents when the kids were little to encourage them to choose healthier options because it would make them feel better rather than it's gonna make you look better. So I remember talking to Quinn a lot when she was little and just saying, well, if you have, you know, if you have too much soda, if you have too much ice cream, it's gonna hurt your belly and you're not gonna feel good. And she, you know, kids don't wanna not feel good. And so she just, for a moment. yeah, she just always kind of went the route of, okay, I'll have water, you know? And even to this day, whenever we go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and we say, you guys can order whatever you want, she always gets water every time. <laughs> So that's kind of kind of cool. And Jake went a little bit more. Um, he has a little bit more of the you know tendency to indulge a little bit. But recently he found the gym and is working mm -hmm. out. And I think he lost like 20 pounds from yeah. when he was uh, just a couple years ago. So he's he's doing really good and chooses diet soda when we're out. <laughs> and yeah. every now and then he'll you know have something. But we are never a big dessert family, so we never eat dessert when we go out and. So the kids usually just get sugar from random stuff throughout the day. I think one of the biggest parts is just that we eat together. Yeah. Or, or we try to eat we together. We try to, yeah. And the kids never join us, but we try to eat together. Yeah. It's usually you and me. <laughs> and then we're, we have the two We used plates. to eat together is yeah. my point. Well, Jake started working, so he's not home as yeah. much in the evenings. And then Quinn, it's been, she's actually been doing her homework. So she's been in her room a lot, but, but dinner, I think she's doing her homework. I mean, I can't even remember the last time as a family. I know the kids were on their own more recently and they yeah. ordered some pizza, but I can't remember the last time as a family that we even really ordered anything out with the exception of maybe just having some people over and ordering like Thai food or something. Right, but right. it's almost always a protein-based dinner. I'm not saying this is the healthiest house. We have 
all the same stuff in our cabinets and in our freezer as probably anybody else. Right. right now we can actually put it to the test and we can look in the freezer and I guarantee you there's some ice cream in here. <laughs> we got some excuses. We normally but... don't have that much ice cream, but we had a party. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, uh, you know, whether it's because we taught it to our kids or whether they're following us or I don't know, I don't know what it is, but we were very fortunate in the fact that they're not uh, addicted to food. And I, I'm grateful for that because I don't know what that recipe is to help people with that, but uh, I'm grateful and thankful for it because neither one of them have a problem with overeating, which is always the toughest thing to try to figure out. And I think that that happens when the kids are really little. So unfortunately you have a small window where you have to set mm. that up. And if you miss that window, then, you know, or you, you know, indulge during that window. I mean, we have even some people that we know that have young kids that the kids are constantly hungry and asking for food and eating just stuff that makes them hungrier. Right. Mac and cheese and chips and things like that, which is okay, like you said, to have, but not every meal. Every, like, you know, breakfast is pancakes or cereal and then lunch is mac and cheese and then dinner is chicken nuggets. It's like, you need to have, you need to have a balance. You can't just have that all the time. Was it Jake or Quinn that asked, like one of them asked for some nutritional guidance at one point and then we, didn't we get them that book, Eat This, Not That? They make a kid's I don't version what of it. Kin, uh, yeah, I don't remember which kid that was. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but I remember buying the book. <laughs> I don't remember either. But it's there's Quinn is uh, yeah. Yeah, there's sim there's simple books out there yeah. that, that um I mean you wanna learn any I mean, you wanna learn about parenting, you can go on YouTube and or you can uh, you know get some is that books. A good idea? And, it might be. <laughs> yeah, it might be. But even uh, nutrition for your kids, search it and uh, I think you'll find it. But eat this, not that is just very simple. It's you know, shows you different options that you could get, even if you went to like McDonald's. Yeah, that one, the kid yeah. one specialized in um, in restaurants. Mm -hmm. I think that was the main thing for that one. So you could go to anyone's and it just gave you some better options as a kid that's still mm -hmm. good, but yeah. Let's check on that chicken, huh? All right, all right, well, they look done. We'll just, oh. there we go. <laughs> just ding it ourselves? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, you can hear the sizzle in there? Let me get my microphone a little closer. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, let's see here. Let's get these wangs out. Lifting up the whole tray. Do I need the, oh, I guess Just that, like that, it's so. fine. And then come over here. Mm -hmm. And then- um, Just dump them in? Yeah, you might want to use the tongs to put them oh. in, that might be easier. Okay, and just put them in one at a time. All right, kaboom. Yep, and then- Oh, they're crispy. You just put them in the sauce like this. Ooh, we did it. Crispy, crispy, crispy cream. Ooh. Okay. Oh, my dexterity. All right, we're making some buffalo wings. You can make your wings whatever way you'd like. You can d use some different sauce and stuff like that. We chose to go kind of buffalo style, red hot and butter. Okay. Why don't you stir them? Just get them all coated. Yeah, and then we get add some more panko in and there. And then right? add a little more of the pork rinds. Yeah, at the end. Pork rinds are a game changer because it gives it a little thickness. Yeah, so get them all nice and coated. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we put them in a pot too. Sometimes the pot makes it a little easier, a little yeah. more depth. And this is where this would come in if you wanted to add a little more sauce. If you didn't make enough, you could add some, this is like a little cheat, but we have plenty of sauce. Another little cheat is to add like a little bit of honey or something like that to this. We don't normally do that because we don't add sugar, but if you want to make them taste even more amazing, I don't see any problem with doing something like that. Add something sweet. All right, and then we'll just add a little more of this. I've even heard of people adding jelly to their wing recipe. I don't That'll really weird. give them a little more thickness. Turn that off. Yep. And just keep mixing her around. around, and around. I think we need more panko. No, I'll be enough. Oh, come on, hit it with some more of that. You're the worst. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now we're talking. Don't be shy. Oh, it smells like wings. It's going right, right into my nose. And then we'll just go over here. Oh. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is some gourmet shit right there. Mm-hmm. And then if you want, you can just kind of give it a little tapper. There you go. 
Done. Ranch or blue cheese? Blue cheese. It's like controversial. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, we're gonna wait for these things to cool down and then we're gonna try them out. All right, I think the wings are cooled down. We'll just make them look a little fancier, throw a little bit of uh, some dressing on there. If you don't like ranch, you can just pretend this is blue cheese, okay? Mm. You don't need to get all upset like Joey Diaz. I hate ranch. I don't know how the <laughs> people can eat that <laughs> shit. All right, let's give them a try, Andy Bell. Okay. Pick your wang. Um, I think I'm gonna go with part of a thigh. Oh. All right. Ooh, a, thigh, a thigh lady. Ready? Ooh. Some steam coming off that. Ooh. Not good. Holy shit. A little ranch dip. Good spice to it. It's crispy. These are freaking awesome. That is how you make amazing wings at home, ladies and gentlemen. Stop ordering from DoorDash. Stop ordering out all the time. You don't know what you're getting when you're ordering from restaurants. Take control. Take it in your own hands. These are quick, easy steps. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later. Oh.